So as you've just seen, the Audi S3 has a brand new set of wheels and they got delivered, mounted and balanced with a brand new set of Michelin tires. So let me go ahead and unveil the wheels real quick and tell you this awesome way to order wheels and tires. So, bam, there we go. These are the ESR RF2 wheels. They are a really nice satin black design, which is gonna look really good with the black optics package on the S3. And for those of you, these might look a little familiar. The keen observer will probably know why these are familiar wheels. So for those of you who remember when I had the white Toyota Supra, the first set of wheels I put on that were these, the RF2 from ESR. Of course, mine were the satin bronze color. And then I later swapped to a different set of ESR wheels that were finished in the red, which is a pretty cool set. That's how I sold the car. So we went with the ESR RF2s once again on the Audi S3, just because they kind of look similar to the new RS3 wheels. So we think this is gonna look pretty sweet. And now before we get into fitting them and seeing what they look like, I gotta give such a big shout out to Fitment Industries. So we've ordered a few products from them before, and this is the coolest thing. When you order wheels and tires from Fitment Industries, they come mounted and balanced, and we have TPMS in this. So you can literally order custom set of wheels, whatever tires you want, and they will get shipped to your house or business or wherever you need them shipped to already ready to go. And at least for my situation with just the GTR and the Audi, it's not too practical for me to have to take the wheels and tires all separate to get to a shop to get them mounted or spend the money and have someone come to my house and do it for me. This is all included with Fitment Industries. So check out Fitment Industries down below. They are literally the place to go if you're buying wheels and tires. They have so many pretty much endless options and I am super pumped. They just came, unpackaged them, and they are packaged so well, perfect condition, no big deal. So I love that fact that Fitment Industries does that, so definitely check them out. Now, for the tires, I went with a set of Michelins. We just got some Pirellis on here now, which are pretty worn, so I knew that I needed new tires on the SC regardless, so we figured this would be the easiest way to get it all set up. So these are an all-season tire. It's the Pilot Sport All-Season 4, so I think this should be a pretty good tire for this car. I mean, this isn't the fastest thing in the world. I have Pilot Super Sports on the GTR, and I just don't think I need that type of max performance summer tire on the S3, especially since we're gonna be driving this car to Michigan and things like that. So I wanted to pick a tire that was able to handle the performance of this car, even when I upgrade it, but also be something usable for when we have to drive it in the winter climate and things like that. So now let's start test fitting these things and uh, see what they look like. Right, so taking a look side by side now with the new ESR wheels versus the stock ones. So the stock ones, from my understanding, they are 19 by eights and they are plus 49 offset. These new ESR wheels, I went with 19 by eight and a half plus 30 offset. So that should get it nice and flush. These stock ones really do sink in quite a bit. However, I do have the same size tires, 235 35s and 235 35s. And while I'm here, I'll actually clean the brake calipers just to give them a good once over to make them really pop with the new wheel sitting on here. And then before I go ahead and install them, I do have hub centric rings from ESR that are gonna go in these. So I can just go ahead and pop them onto the wheel on the back. And then now let's get this on. All right, moment of truth. All right, so I will say I love the spoke design, just like on the RS3s. And it's crazy, I had these on the Supra. They look really good on this car. I love how much you can see of the caliper and everything. So like I said, with the dimensions plus 30 offset, I think that is about as perfect as you could get. Just barely this part is sticking past the fender, it looks like. And then let's see what it looks like from the back side now. I think that is about as close as I would want it without being crazy, you know, poking out or anything like that. So this is definitely on the inside of this. Hopefully it comes off on camera like that. But it definitely looks pretty good even in this configuration. Maybe we're gonna lower the car, just maybe. You guys might have to find out in a later video. All right, well that was super quick and easy getting this side on. Fitment is literally perfect. I am super pumped. Let's check out the original side. Now, I'm not too familiar if this is like an upgraded set of wheels or only on black optics versions. I'm not too sure, 
but at least for these wheels, the stock ones that I have, you can tell how far in they go. I think that angle really shows it well. The rear actually looks like the bodywork bulges out even more than the front because there is so much gap. Look at that. I mean, that's what you would see on like a Corolla, not an S3. I mean, this is at least a sporty version of an A3. It better be better than what we have. So that is the before. Now let's check out the after. And as you can see, look at that fitment. So you can see we have the minor stretch on the tires since I went with a little bit wider rim with the OEM tires. But I have the same differences on the GTR and what I did on the Supra, running a half inch wider wheel with the same tire. Gives it a really good look. And then let's take a walk up to the front and do a good comparison there. The front, you can definitely see from this angle just how far it is. So it sticks way in there. And then as we come around, perfectly flush. And I really like the spokes. I think that design just gives it a more aggressive look. We had another one that we were looking at getting instead of these ones, but I think that really comes together well. So moving on to the passenger side now, got the other two here, and I am the person who peels off the sticker. I don't know why people drive it with this on. So let's get rid of this and then we can get a side on. There we go, installing the new ESR wheels on the Audi S3. It looks so good. I wasn't too sure if I would really like the basically the old original Super wheels on the S3, but I think the style works out really well, especially since the new RS3 has a pretty similar design. Fitment is perfect. They're absolutely perfect. This is about as flush as you could possibly get without starting to get into rubbing. But as you can see, it looks really nice up front. You can see how the rim itself might just be barely in line with the fender. So once I do lower the car a little bit, I barely need any camera. I don't think I honestly do need any of that, which I'll go over in a future video. And then in the back, looks like there's a little bit more of a fender flare, but you can see just how perfect that is. You can barely see the tire right there on the front. I mean, this is spot on perfection as far as fitment goes. And I just love the color. Had to stick with black, being that this has the black optics package. Got the black tips on it, all the black trim. And then now we got these sick looking satin black wheels from ESR. They look so good. And I actually did drive a car with these same Michelin tires. So I know they're gonna be really good. They're gonna give me the performance I want and still give me the all season drivability that I want this car to be able to do. And then Fitment Industries, I am so impressed. These got delivered today and they're already installed on the car. I don't have to wait, don't have to go to a shop, which would be so inconvenient. So it was just so awesome working with Fitment Industries, getting these shipped to my house with TPMS mounted and balanced, ready to rock and roll. That is just such a good way to be able to order brand new wheels and tires. Uh, and their packaging was awesome. There's not a scratch on the wheels. Everything came out perfect. So I'm really impressed with just the quality that they take into delivering wheels. Tested them out, fit everything perfectly. You know, put them on cardboard that way. I didn't scratch the tires just yet. Now they're officially used, but they fit perfectly and I am super pumped. So I think that about puts us at the end of today's video. Once again, big shout out to Fitment Industries. I'll have their website linked down below. Seriously an awesome place to order wheels and tires. And then ESR, this is now the third set of ESR wheels. I really like the brand just because they offer affordable, high quality wheels, custom finishes, and some really amazing designs. Even going all the way up to crazy three piece things. So ESR has an awesome selection of wheels. And I really like these ones. These are a good budget friendly option and they work perfectly on the S3. I'll have everyone linked down below, check them out. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.